We've got some Eevee. We got some Eevee, the Tranquil here. And this just was released in October 2023. And I thought this was an interesting knife. I mean, it's full size. It's pretty damn inexpensive. 14C28N. This one's a burgundy G10 handle. It's a liner lock. And there's your lock up on it. It's not easy to see. Let me look around here. Uh, 25 to 30% lock up. And then, you know, jimping here, easy to disengage. It dro drops, hits you in the thumb. And there you go. Ambidextrous thumb studs, easy to finger flick. Uh, jimping on the flipper tab. And a uh, nice little drop. It's okay. It'll probably be better once I put the wrench to it and ease up on it. Um, here's... Here's the pocket clip, right or left hand carry, plenty of grainy grippy on the G10, love G10, love it, it's great. Um, here's what it says, Tranquil, okay, and you don't have to get this color, they got other colors, and I don't know how much paperwork I pulled on this, but you know, obviously you can get these at wherever you want, I use White Mountain because I, LTK, Discount code 10% off, so check these out. 3.7 inch blade though, buddy. Yeah, nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that, okay. Um, so 8.7 inches overall length. 3.7 blade. I mean, that's why I thought, I want to check this out. I mean, they've always been so conservative, like 3.48 inch uh, blade, and they've really stayed and stated that their blades were under three and a half inches. So when they went, they went oh haul hog on this one, then, and, and I don't think these are very expensive. This is not one of the expensive Sabivis that goes up to like 85, 90, whatever. These are very inexpensive. So they're kind of right almost in the Sen cut area, right? Um, let me get, okay, let me get, let me get the, tape here because see right there 3.7 but i mean phew, what do we got we got a three and a half for a cutting edge and then we got that big ass choil there which takes us really down here to four and a quarter right to the bottom of this bolster here as we move up there's four inches as we move up there's three three and three quarter and then yeah okay i'll go 3.7 but 95 at the, at the minimum, 95 millimeters, and then up to 100, 103, you know, clear at the bottom. And then, yeah, eight, eight and five eighths, right? Okay, at 22 centimeters. I mean, that's, she's full size. She's full size. What does she weigh? And she ain't very thick either. So this will be easy to carry, actually. Doesn't feel that heavy. 4.3 ounces. Not bad, not too shabby. Um, 121.6 grams, okay, okay. Yeah, that's that's all day doable, right? It's all day doable. And you know what? How fat is it in your pocket? Because that's one of the things I think about. No, this is 12.1. Now, thin, thin is like 0 0.45, 0 0.46, that's, pretty much for a full-size knife that's about as thin as they get 12.1 is very very reasonable um that's 0. 0.47 oh okay so 0. 0.47 god dang 12.1 millimeters yeah i was trying to say 0. 0.46 0. 0.47 is about as thin as a full-size knife gets and that's why i was i was trying to say that I, I told you that you wouldn't listen to me um so yeah it's it is it's good it's it's pretty damn thin so it fits in the pocket just fine and it ain't that heavy. Okay, 0.11, so three millimeter blade. Okay, three millimeter blade stock. Okay, so it ain't too fat that way. And that keeps the weight down, ambidextrous thumb studs. I mean, what do you think about the blade shape and the overall? I think overall this looks frighteningly, frighteningly uh, usable, don't you think? Just a... Uh, sensible. I hate sensible, don't you? Sometimes. But 
Every once in a while, the sensible knife comes around and it actually looks good too from a design standpoint. Oh, and she'll slice some paper up. What did I hit? Did I hit a staple in there? Okay, whatever. Messing with me now. Okay, so we're good. We're good. Yeah. Nice and slicey. And of course, they do come with a pouch. Savivi pouch. And what do they put in the pouch? A cloth. It just blows your eyes out. It's green. Baby, is that green? Chartreuse? Caboose? And then, you know, sticker, all this, blah, blah, blah. Extra little goodies. Oh, they're bragging on their Blade Show 2021, whatever, and all that. Okay. So they're always winning awards at all the damn Blade Shows. So, I mean, that just tells you something, right? And, right? That's good. That's good. And you know what? I, another one that came out this month in October was the Praxis. Now, Praxisable. Yeah, it is practical. The Praxis is practical in all kinds of ways. And with the Altum like this, you know, and just a little, you know, a little uh, machining on there, you know, otherwise it'd be glassy clear. But you know, there's a thing about Altum. You ought to read up on it. I'll, I'll put the link down below if I can uh, get back to that article. It was kind of interesting because they did kind of a, a full article on this Altum, you know. The PEI is what it's called, or PIE, PEI, I think. Um, and it stands for poly, whatever, whatever, whatever the chemical, blah, 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 comes together. It's 400 and some degrees that they bring it up to. And, and this is supposed to be really uh, uh, good, like, as an insulator, also very corrosion resistant, also just a lot of things. Very tough, strong, uh, resilient, just a lot of good things. So, okay, I just like it because I think it's just cool. Now... It'd be nice if they made this not just with the yellow tint, but with like a blue tint, purple tint, whatever. But I don't know if that's if that's possible in this chemical composition of what this material is. Or if it just naturally goes to this color. I don't know. But the Praxis, oh baby, yes, full size. I want to get the Mini in, Alt, the mini in Altum as well, the Mini Praxis. So I'm just putting a shout out for that. Okay. But Tranquil... Now, there's a different kind. And, you know, you don't have to get a coated blade. They have uncoated. So they check it out online because, yeah, you can get different colors and you can get stone wash as opposed to coated blade, etc. Okay. Be kind of fun to mix blades and handles to really tell you the truth. But this one, it's comfortable in the hand. Uh, it's pretty intuitive. The drop, it's fidget friendly. You know, all this. And then... Finger flickable, thumb flickable, etc. Good size knife, but the ergos are just a straight shot down here. Really open design, big old standoffs on here. Uh, skeletonized liners. Okay, it's going to be ceramic. Uh, ceramic bearings on the pivot. Uh, and, of course, the way they got this little pivot cap set up with a little bump under here that sits down so it won't, this won't turn. You can do it from the back, open it up, ceramic bearings, easy breezy, right? And they've been putting number eights on the body, even though there's only one body screw other than until you get into the pocket clip, you know. Uh, so there's that. Whew. And, you know, they're centered, no lock rock, no blade play, really inexpensive, and just a good carry user. And you know what? So the Tranquil makes sense to me. I don't like every knife that Civivi comes out with. No, I don't. Uh, but they come out with several every month. So there's at least one or two that I like and I think are a great idea. And others, I go, nah, I can pass. So, but this one, no, I was drawn to it. It's full size, yeah. It's not, I did not chasing it just because it's a bigger blade. But it's also slender, light, and just the overall design, I really like. I mean, this is practical. This is piercing, slicing, nice, 
easy to sharpen. Look at this breakaway here. I mean, you can get your, and you still got three and a half inch cutting edge, but then you can still, you know, get your finger in here and get up here on your work, right? Like this too. However, you know, and any way you grab it, it's comfortable in the hand. And I like their pocket clip because it comes here, but it comes up. Okay, then it flattens out here. So the lip of your pocket goes right under there. And I like their pocket clips. They go in here. Oh, and by the way, see how these screws are stacked one on top of the other? Look on Civivi's site. And I, I don't know if you can get them on, you know, the other retail stores that sell Civivi. But I know you can get it on the Civivi site. You can get titanium pocket clips and there's a bunch of different packets of screws that are applicable to different models like like this one too so you could put a titanium clip on this you could put a titanium clip on this okay you can do that if you want okay i just thought that's pretty slick that they came out with the aftermarket stuff because a lot of manufacturers leave the aftermarket to whoever right to the aftermarket but they kind of picked up and were doing the tie clips so check that out on the Civivi site as well and I'll give you the link below and uh, yeah uh, and every once in a while I mean you buy stuff on their site you also earn points and what else is it uh, that kind of thing so check that out and sometimes they do have certain kinds of discounts and sales as well so keep up on that and then of course they have a separate site for send cut knives but this this resembles one of the send cut knives doesn't it now that i'm thinking about it but you know sometimes they will share design cues that'll come even from the wee knives into the civivi and then end up in the send cut I mean, where they're sharing a lot of design language there. Although, if it's in-house, then you know Joe or whoever's doing it over there. So, you know, he's, you know, I mean, designers sometimes just have a lot of common design language that they, they incorporate into the knives. It just, it defines kind of their style. That one there, she's a good one. She's a good one. Yeah, I like it. Civivi, I think you're going to like it too. And the Tranquil, maybe this is for you, maybe not. I like it. I really do. Take care, my friends. We do love them knives. So you guys, stay sharp.